Hey, what's up you money makers? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about ticker symbol HCMC, our one of the favorite favorite penny stock healthier choices management corp. What I'm going to do today is I came across a really 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 good article. So I'm going to leave you with some of the recap and what has been happening with HCMC. What are some of the big big catalysts that are coming up? What you should watch out for HCMC next week? And we'll also talk about some of the price action for HCMC as well. We'll look Look into the volume we'll look into how the price can fluctuate and what are the major major price levels that you should be aware of and we'll look also into how to predict where its cmc is right now and where it can go in terms of the bullish sentiment as well as some of the consolidation that is happening in its cmc and when do we consider it's a bearish sentiment so watch the full video if you own its cmc stocks this is a great video for you if you're looking to get a position into its cmc so this might be the right time so and you really want to look into how you can what's the best price point that you want to get into when it comes to its cmc now i want to say i'm not a financial advisor but i do a lot of research and i like to help out sharing my research analysis and the details that i have hoping you can make informed financial decision we are trading at 0 0.0011 if you can click on the like button that's going to help me out a lot this will help out its cmc army and we can spread the word out we can share this information with more and more people because more the clicks i get on this video this video can reach and this can be watched by more and more people also subscribe to my to my channel as well i've been keeping you posted with its cmc especially the penny stock and a lot more cryptocurrency with time sensitive information and updates recently i also launched the discord so if you can join my patreon to support the channel you will also get to see the other people into the community it's a small community right at the moment there are a few individuals really really interested into HCMC and we have been always talking about HCMC and some of the cryptocurrency and it's a pretty pretty new discord so we don't really have a lot of people but I can make sure that uh, if you have any questions I can help support you so if you want to support the channel also join the patreon group we do not have a huge community so hopefully I'll be able to give you a lot more attention there as well so like share and subscribe and join the patreon group if you can now let's go and take a look into this article this is a very very great article recap and download of what's going on with healthier choices management corp which is an otc traded stock uh, move is brewing as qcup pmi patent infringement lawsuit moves ahead and pmi files ipr to invalidate now why this is important is because it's a micro cap managed established uh, uh, falling stock and, and it, it, in the short time it got tens of billions of shares per day traded we saw the volume went all the way up to 40 billion shares just in one trading session which is pretty pretty massive and based on this article HCMC got the attention from the investors regularly trades over five million dollars per day Considering this is a penny stock, this is a pretty big volume in, in terms of the dollar value. They have more than 400 shareholders, as we already know, and they also raised $27 million from the rights offering that the HCMC rights offered. It went as high as 0 0.0065, which is a massive, massive price point. And that's my point. It can always, always hit that once again, that high price level of 0 0.0065. What that means is it's six more than six times uh, return on the investment if someone bought it at 0 0.0010 or someone got the rights offering at 0 0.0010 so that's something that you want to consider the patent infringement lawsuit they have one of the representing its cmc is cozen o'connor uh, ranked among top 100 law firms in the country of united states and employed more than 775 attorneys in 29 cities across two continents the firm's diverse client list include global fortune 500 companies so they know what they're doing in the middle market firm poised for the growth high profile individuals in HCM, hcmc who must have seriously solid solid case because if you can remember this lawsuit was filed on november 30th 2020 somewhere in that uh, kind of the area of timeline and since then it has not been dismissed there has been a lot of bells and whistles added to the case including the motion to dismiss by philip morris it also has the ipr the interparties uh, the petition that is going on with ptap petition 
So there is a lot more catalyst coming up and it has outstanding law firm supporting. They also have Philip Morris filed a petition, as I just mentioned, patent trial and PTAB of the US Patent Trademark Office seeking for the institution interpart as review proceeding and we will have to see what happens with that and that becomes a big big catalyst as well. Looking further into HCMC, how it does more than $1.1 million in revenue per month in sales in 2020, which is once again it puts into the category that the volume or the or the or the or the revenue has been in the increasing mode it did not really impact a lot due to the pandemic situation or whatever that is going on recently it cmc announced that the financial results for last three months ended March 31st, their operational net sales was 3.5 million, which was down 14% save period over last year. Significant portion was declined due to the due to the pandemic and the health situation that is going on into their grocery segment. The company has reportedly um, adjusted their EBITDA to loss amount of $394,000 as well, which is an improvement of 9%. So they know exactly how to reduce the cost. Now, one more thing, and which is very interesting thing that you want to look for is CEO Jeffrey Hallman is a seasoned executive and corporate lawyer who serves as a president of the Jeffrey E. Hallman and Associates PSL Florida based law firm. And he is also a partner at Hallman and Cohen and Valencia. Um, and president of the sales executive or the president of this corporation joining the company. So he's a seasoned individual and CEO. So he knows what he's doing as well. And he must be thinking that this is a pretty big and legit case. It seems his lawsuit includes a game claims that Philip Morris is infringing at CMC's patent right in connection with the IQOS product. Now this IQOS product is a pretty big and substantial revenue generating product for, for Philip Morris. So they cannot really take it out out of the market they cannot afford to take this product out of the market because in that case they're going to lose revenue not only that they have invested more than three billion dollars let's take a look right here philip morris claims that they have currently approaching 14 million users for iqos product think about it how big of a user base and they cannot really afford to lose all these users because they're, they're, they're cross-selling these users with other products that Philip Morris offers as well. So losing this 14 million users for the IQS product is something that not really in favor of Philip Morris to, to do. And they have reportedly over $3 billion that they have invested in their smokeless tobacco product. Philip Morris has been very open about their ongoing transition from traditional fully combustible cigarettes to their modified risk tobacco product, including IQOS. And the big, big question here is how the combustion process works, which is where HCMC is saying that Philip Morris is infringing the patent that HCMC has filed. So this is what you want to really look into and further notice now there is a lot of buzz on wall street bat because this is one of the favorite favorite meme penny stock or whatever you want to call that stock is there is a strong strong hcmc army we saw what happened on hcmc day take a look right here hcmc i smell money coming in in my opinion deep due diligence or do due diligence or, or deep uh, due diligence so on and so forth i'm <laughs> i'm missing out the word right now if you take a look at julian saunders who is one of the enthusiastic about hcmc always posts about hcmc hcmc while we wait on the court case it works continuous uh, the work continues it's cmc army take a look right here it's cmc we're excited to expanding our relationship with atg pharma we already saw that atg pharma you can take a look at my previous video as well atg pharma is one of the good good solution to scale the product that it's cmc is selling for q cup there is a technology in canada and it is expanding super super fast one more thing that we also saw is nuhi brand pre-filled q cup product in colorado so they're expanding their business they're expanding their uh, pipeline the way they serve the clients and this QQ filling machines is going to be uh, super super qualified to perform the third party filling for the extractor in canada as well as in colorado with the brand that they are using there's projection of canada's cannabis sell to be four billion dollar this year and it can grow to five billion dollars next year so this is directly directly going to impact the revenue and the income that it seems it brings home Getting the products before a number of extractors quickly is the key in Canadian market. And this is precisely what HCMC is doing. If you take a look at the volume, I want to point this out. 
I do believe that this is not an updated data and this is not an accurate number, but short volume of 404 million does seem like an accurate number. But with 404 million of short volume, we're looking at about 1.07 billion. So just to round it off, 1 billion is the volume where we saw 404 million shares were shorted. If, you, if I scroll down, you should be able to see that. And right here, I don't have a premium login. If you want to support the channel, you can join the Patreon, Patreon group and become a patron. And I'll make sure that as I get more um, kind of spare money, I'll start getting all this premium um, uh, subscription to just get even more data. But what I see right here and what I can calculate based on 25th of June, we are seeing close to 40% short volume, which is not a small volume in my opinion. We saw 585 at 1.30. Uh, billion volume which was about 44 percent so it is continue is continuously into the 40 to 50 percent territory when it comes to the short volume one more thing that we have been seeing consistently about hcmc is it enables to sustain at the higher levels in my opinion not a big deal because we saw that the rights offering were there and due to the rights offering some people might have sold and i have been explaining into my videos past uh, few days at least past seven to eight days that we may see some downturn into the price point now i do think that we did not really see a bearish momentum just yet or we may not even see that at all if you take a look the way it has been trading is starting june 17th we saw that 11 12 11 12 0.0011 1 2 1 1 1 2 and it is not really moving we're not seeing any price uh, momentum price action or anything along those lines so next week might be super important what you want to look into is 0.0009 is the price point if it sustains above that it has a strong strong support at 0.0009 and 0.0010 now if it stays above that price point it is in the consolidation phase now if it goes above that price point that means it can it can sustain around and might be floating between 0.0010 and 17 because 17 is another strong strong resistance 1718 um you can take a look at my cursor right here 1718 is another another strong strong uh, resistance for hcmc what's happening right now is this price point if you take a look 0 0.00 0.0009 is one of the strong strong support that you see right now and that let that is not letting go the hcmc stock below uh, below that price point and the same way 0.001718 is the higher or the ceiling uh, for the price point or for the resistance for its cmc now if it sustains above 0.0010 level there is a likelihood that it can go to 0.0016 or 0.0015 in uh, next few days now don't quote me because i'm not a financial advisor what i've been seeing though is whenever it goes around uh, uh, at lower levels we are seeing this juicy juicy green candle so there is a volume that comes up right away right there so so if you take a look whenever it dips we are seeing volume once again when we see deep we are seeing a green volume once again when we see more volume it the, the stock price goes higher and higher so it 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 may be the case or i can say that the case is 0.0010 could represent a good buying opportunity i'm not saying you can, you'll make money overnight but what I'm saying based on the technical analysis is if it goes to 0 0.0014, let's say an example, you are getting 40% return on your investment in next few days. And it's a big thing. I'm not saying that 40% is you're doubling or tripling down your money. But what I'm saying is 30, 40, 50% return in next few days could be could be a great return on the investment. So do that accordingly. Now, I also want to say that do not invest your entire portfolio because it's a pretty risky, high risk, high reward play. So you want to make sure that you are investing the money that you're willing to lose. So you don't wake up at night. It doesn't make you up at night. So, so do your own due diligence research analysis once again i do think that this represents a pretty good buying opportunity if you take a look at the rights offering the rights offering was at 0 0.0010 as well and right now we're around that price point so i'm seeing a pretty good opportunity and just hold it for a long time that's what i'm going to I, I, i'm doing at the moment i did not really sell my own position as well and uh, you can do whatever you like but i just wanted to share this information with you because this represents 
presents an opportunity now like click on the like button subscribe to my channel join the patreon group if you can uh, if you can do it as well that will be uh, that will be huge for me and i'll see you in the next video go at cmc army there's a lot more work to be done thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next video